Thank you for joining me. This week we Lexio the Liturgy with a collect for the fifth Sunday in Lent. By your help, we beseech you, Lord our God, may we walk eagerly in that same charity with which, out of love for the world, your Son handed himself over to death. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Last week we prayed for eager faith. This week we beg for eager love. More specifically, charity. It's easy to say that the definition of charity is love, but it's deeper than that because it's not just any love. It is agape love. It is the kind of love that is characteristic of a Christian. Charity describes the attitude of God toward his son and the human race. It also conveys God's will to his children concerning their attitude to one another. Vine's Dictionary says that love can be known only from the actions it prompts. That tells us a lot about the love of God. In his great love for us, his greatest action was to send his Son to save us. Jesus' actions included not only healing or raising from the dead, but dying for us. Keep the actions of God's charity in your mind as we look at Philippians. Philippians 2 verses 3 and 4 has a definition of charity too. Do nothing from selfishness or empty conceit, but with an attitude of humility, regard others as more important than yourselves. Do not merely look out for your own personal interests, but for the interests of others. If you're looking for perhaps the greatest act of charity needed in the world today, it is to lead others to a relationship with God. Last week, I was chatting with a friend about the process of evangelization that the world needs today. A new video series or fundraising campaign is not going to be the silver bullet that we need to lead others to discipleship. It will only happen when you and I walk with another person in the charity that Jesus did. This walk is not going to always be easy and we might have to get dirty, but it's necessary. And it's the same method that Jesus used. Philippians 2 verse 2 confirms, Make my joy complete by the same mind, having of the same love toward one another, knit together in spirit, intent on one purpose, and living a life that reflects your faith and spreads the gospel, the good news regarding the salvation through faith in Christ. In the gospel this weekend in John 12, 20-33 for year B, Jesus says, Whoever serves me must follow me. But what does it mean to serve Christ? St. Augustine wrote, They serve Christ who seek not their own things, but the things of Jesus Christ. Those who follow him or walk in his, not their own ways, and do all good works for Christ's sake, not only works of mercy to men's bodies, but all others, till at length they fulfill that great work of love and lay down their lives for the brethren. To serve Jesus is to walk in his charity. What is the reward? Augustine continues, The next words tell you, And where I am, there also my servant shall be. Love him for his own sake, and think it a rich reward for your service to be with him. This week as we Lexio the liturgy, think about and journal what it means to you to walk eagerly in God's charity. Ask the Holy Spirit to put one person on your heart that needs to hear from you this week. It may even be a stranger that you meet. Be open to the possibility of showing God's love to them. The Holy Spirit will give you the words to say. Thank you for praying with me.